That's what we're gonna be tonight, a troublemaker. What is up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys not one, not two, but three quick and easy Halloween makeup ideas using drugstore makeup products. Now, do me a solid this year. Do not go out and buy a 70, 80, 90, 100 plus dollar Halloween costume. I got you. I'm actually gonna show you guys how to create a Halloween makeup look using affordable makeup products found within your collection. And you could also just toss on pieces that you have at home to get a final and completed look. These are perfect last minute Halloween costume ideas. So save that money and look good. I also wanna give a huge shout out to e.l.f. Cosmetics because they are sponsoring a portion of today's video. You guys know we stand for e.l.f. I use them in almost every single one of my videos. So anytime I get to partner with them on a video, it's definitely a blessing. If you guys are new to my channel, press that subscribe button. I do film loads of beauty on a budget videos. So if you love that, give this video a big old like and turn on those notifications. So that way YouTube will notify you when I upload, which is every Monday and Wednesday. With that being said, I wanna zoom you in and I to get started on look number one so let's go <laughs> So for look number one, I really wanna focus on creating a cute werewolf. So I clip my hair back. I have a little bit of foundation on and brows, but we're definitely gonna amp up the brows and kind of like zhuzh up the hair to complete the look at the very end. I also toss in some contacts. I just got them at like a hair supply store. So if you have one in your area, definitely check them out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with some concealer to actually prime my eyelids. Now for this eye look, you're really just gonna wanna do a very grungy, smoky eye. And the palette I'm gonna use for that is the Gold Rush palette by Profusion. It retails for about 10 bucks at Walmart. It is really, really good. So I'm just gonna take a big old fluffy brush and blend out the concealer. Now that that's done, I'm gonna go in with this yellow shade from within the palette. It's called Serendipity. And I'm gonna take that on an M441 and I'm just going to really buff and blow this out in my crease. Now, realistically speaking, we are creating a very, very grungy glam and we really want it to look undone. It's not meant to be super, super perfect, but if you wanna make it perfect, it can be a little bit more of like a glam, cute, a werewolf. Definitely do whatever it is that you're into. I know we all know how to put on eyeshadow at this point. So I'm just gonna rock this in my socket and really diffuse it out as my transition color. So let's warm things up a little bit with the shade right here, it's called Camel. I'm gonna switch to a smaller blending brush and I'm just gonna concentrate this right here in the outer V and I'm also gonna take a little bit into the crease. I'm gonna take the shade right here, it's called Boost and I'm also gonna mix in a little bit of brown sugar and this is really just going to deepen up everything. So switching back to the shade right here called Camel, I'm just gonna take that color and I'm really gonna diffuse it out all over the lid just because I don't really want this area to be too bright. I really want it to look like a really nice and pretty like warm smoky eye. So I'm taking this color and I'm just diffusing it into the other colors just so that way it blends like super well. Now, one thing I feel like is essential for this look is a little bit of black, like smoked out in the outer V. So I'm gonna switch over to using the new Classics palette by Elf Cosmetics. You can even actually use this to create this look, but you're not gonna have like those yellow tones, like those very pukey browns that make the eyes look like a little sick looking. So that's the only reason why I didn't go in with this palette right off the bat. But I am gonna take the dark black from within the palette called Noir, and I'm going to smoke this out in the outer V area because I really want this look to be very grungy and just very smoky. I'm gonna first start by tapping and then I'm gonna go in big circular motions. I am gonna go in with a little bit of black liner because I feel like this look needs a little bit more grunge. So I'm gonna take this liner by e.l.f. This is the No Budge Retractable Liner in Black. I'm gonna use this to tight line. And what I love is that this doesn't transfer onto my contacts or anything like that because once it sets, it sets and it doesn't go anywhere. I'm also gonna take some of that black liner on my upper lash line to line. So this is looking really, really clean, really beautiful. So I'm gonna grunge it up a little bit. I really want to make this liner look a little bit more diffuse, a little bit more undone. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that Profusion palette. I'm gonna take the shade called Brown Sugar, mix it in with the Noir from e.l.f. Cosmetics. And we're really gonna go to town and really just smudge and smoke out the liner for more of an undone look. So I'm just gonna take my brush and just wiggle it back and forth. It definitely does not need to be neat by any means, but it can be if that's what you're into. But for me, I wanna just make it look a little more messy. 
I do have a little bit of that black under there. Luckily, I haven't yet done my concealer. I'm just gonna kind of wipe it off and then I'm just gonna go straight in with my concealer. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. This one is so good and the shade I'm using is a light sand. I'm gonna use this conceal underneath my eyes because honey, we need some help. We need to bring this look together. And to buff and blend it out, I'm gonna use my e.l.f. Total Face Sponge. Put what's new here. I'm now gonna take the shade called Camel from within the Profusion palette and I'm just gonna start smoking it and smudging it on my lower lash line. I am gonna go back into the Retractable Liner by e.l.f. Cosmetics in black and I'm gonna use this in my waterline just to close things out and really just give it, again, a grungier glam effect. Now, because this is meant to be a cute werewolf and only because we're a cute werewolf, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of glitter shadow. This is a collaboration with J. Kissa. I like that it has a lime green on this end here because I'm actually gonna take this and put this in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna dust it right along here. This is why I say if you had green contacts, it would really set this look off because this green would really complement the green within your eyes, but it's okay. Wow, I really cannot believe how much this lime green sets off this look. Like it is so pretty, but besides that, let's pop on falsies. I'm gonna use the Foam Ink Lashes by e.l.f. Cosmetics. These are in the style Troublemaker, Trouble what? Troublemaker, and they're so dramatic and they're gonna look good with this look. So I'm gonna pop these on really quick off camera and then I'll be right back. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm really gonna start bushing up my brows just to create more of a werewolf effect. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. This is the Got To Be Free Spray on a spoolie brush and I'm just going to spray it. You could also use brow gel, but I just find that this holds like a lot better and my hairs are just going to stay up all night long. I'm gonna take a little bit more and I'm really just going to lay my hairs up. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of my e.l.f. bronzer. This is a primer infused bronzer in the shade Forever Sunkissed. And I'm gonna use this to really chisel out my nose. You wanna create a really, really cute werewolf nose. Now I'm gonna go in with a brown lip liner to create the nose here. And I'm just gonna use this lip liner from e.l.f. Cosmetics. It is a part of the Retro Paradise lip collection. So I'm just gonna create a little nose. Another important step is to take a little bit of shadow and then just kind of drag it down here just to create a natural shadow. I'm gonna take just a little bit more of that bronzer on a bronzing brush and I'm just going to bronze up the rest of my face. And I'm gonna add blush and highlight because this is a very cute werewolf. So we still wanna look cute. We still wanna look put together. We don't wanna skip any of those steps. So the last and final thing we're gonna work on is the lips. Now I'm gonna use that same lip liner from e.l.f. Cosmetics, the brown one, and I'm gonna line my lips completely with it. And after that, I'm gonna go in with this lipstick right here, which is called the Cider. This right here is a final and completed cute werewolf look. It was super, super easy to create. Honestly, it's just a smoky eye with a nose and a lip. So I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Again, pop on some teeth to really elevate the look, but I can't talk with these for the life of me, so I'm not even gonna try, but this is it. Now let's move on to look number two. <laughs> I'm gonna start off with the Bite Size Mini Eyeshadow Palette by e.l.f. Cosmetics. This one is a new shade for them called Acai U. It is such a beautiful kind of purpley tone eyeshadow palette. So that's definitely the realm in which I'm going for. For this school, I definitely wanna use like purples and pinks and stuff like that. I'm gonna start off with this lilac shade right here with a fluffy brush. And this is going to be my transitional shade. I did already prime my eyelids for the sake of timing. So definitely make sure you prime your lids just so that way your eyeshadow stays on for a long period of time. For this look, I definitely want to do more of a glam kind of purple cut crease. So I'm gonna start off pretty basic and then we'll move on to the rest of the face. I'm now gonna jump into the e.l.f. XJ Kissa to the Rescue eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take the shade right here called Sadie and I'm gonna use it to really just deepen up my crease area. I really want to carve out this area. We are gonna do more of a cut crease look. So you really wanna take your time and really just deepen up the crease. You don't wanna take it above the crease though. So definitely just keep it in the crease or below the crease. 
Now I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and I'm gonna pick up the darker purple from within the To The Rescue palette. And again, I'm really just gonna focus on putting this right here in the crease to really just continue to shade and deepen things up. Then I'm gonna go back into my blending brush and then just kind of soften and diffuse out the edges. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer and I'm gonna use this to cut my crease. I do wanna carve out quite a bit of lid space just because that's kind of the look and vibe I'm going for. I really want this to be a very pretty kind of glitzy skull so I wanna add like some liquid glitter on my lid. But first I definitely need to carve out some lid space. I'm gonna go back into the shade called Pretty Girl and I'm gonna use a MAC 210 brush and I'm gonna use this to really just carve out right above that concealer so that way it is a lot darker. So I'm gonna go back into Sadie from the To The Rescue palette and I'm just going to start feathering it right here in this outer V and I'm just going to tap and really place the color where I want it and then start to build on top of it. So now I'm gonna go in with a shimmer. I'm gonna take the shade right here, it's called Confetti. It's a really beautiful purple shade and I'm gonna spray it with a little bit of the e.l.f. Cosmetics Makeup Mist and Set just to give it a little bit more slip. And then I'm just gonna pack it on my lid, but I'm not gonna take it all the way in here because I do wanna go in with like a shimmery, glittery pink. So I'm just gonna tap it right here. Then I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. liquid eyeshadow in the shade Pinky Swear. This is actually a brand new color within the line and I think it is absolutely beautiful. And it's definitely gonna add a little bit more glitz and glam to the look. I really like to put it on the back of my hand and then work it and build it up with a brush just because I have a little bit more control that way. Then I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of black liquid eyeliner. This one is by e.l.f. Cosmetics and it is one of my personal faves. It is a brush tip applicator and it makes applying liner so easy and smooth. With a little bit of the shade called Sadie on a flat brush, I'm just going to apply this on my lower lash line and really just buff blend and smoke it out. I'm also gonna dip into the shade right here and I'm just going to put it directly underneath just to tie the entire look together. Because this is a Halloween look, I am going to really just smoke it out a little bit more than usual, but definitely do you. If you're not into that, then just keep things very simple. So for the most part, eyes are done. I am gonna pop on falsies off camera and then we're gonna jump into the rest of the face. Now that my lashes are on, I'm gonna go back into the e.l.f. XJ Kissa palette and pick up the shade called Sadie on a MAC 210 and I'm gonna create more of like a tear and you want it to be in the very center of your eye. So I'm just gonna look straight into my mirror and then just draw a line right here all the way down. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of that lilac shade from the Acai U palette and I'm just gonna take it along the sides here. Then I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and I'm just gonna lightly go in here and just create some definition. Just so that way things aren't so flat. You really just wanna go in and just lightly start to shade. The next step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Sadie from the To The Rescue palette on a brush like this. This is just a Sephora contouring number 79. And I'm gonna do my exact contour. I'm gonna bring it over straight and then down. All right, so after building up that color, I'm gonna go in with the shade called Pretty Girl from within the palette. But instead of going in with Pretty Girl right off the bat, I'm gonna mix in a little bit of Pretty Girl and Sadie together. And then I'm just going to take a brush like this and follow and trace out the area that we are already going over. So the last and final step here is to go in with even more of a precise brush. You could even go in with something like this. This is by Collab Makeup and pick up that shade called Pretty Girl and then really just create a very sharp edge. Just so that way it looks like there's such a beautiful gradient from this sharp edge down. Now I'm gonna take an even smaller brush and then just start carving out my nose. And this is just gonna be a rough sketch. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade, the shimmery shade right here from the Acai U palette and I'm going to just add that to this to create some shimmer to this look. So I definitely feel like my forehead is lacking some dimension. So I'm gonna take a little bit of Sadie and I'm just gonna create like a half moon. Then to really just carve it out, I'm gonna take a little bit of Pretty Girl here and then just kind of follow along. 
Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shimmer from the Acai U palette and I'm just gonna lightly tap some right next to where I put the contour. Just like that. So it kind of adds something extra to the look. Now I'm gonna go in with lip liner. I'm gonna use this right here by LA Girl. This is the Lip Precision Lip Liner in the shade Blushing. And I'm gonna use this to line my lips. And to fill in my lips, I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Cosmetics Matte Lip Color in the shade Tea Rose. To really create some shadows, I'm gonna take the shade called Pretty Girl and I'm gonna put it right here in the inner rim of my lip and create more of an ombre effect. Now I'm gonna start working on the mouth and I can probably just show you better than I can tell you. So we're gonna run some music and we're gonna get it going. So let's go. So the last and final thing you can do to really just elevate this look is go in with some press on gemstones. I picked these up from Spirit Halloween, but you can also get them from Michaels and stuff. I'm gonna take one, put it in my very inner corner, and I'm pretty much gonna put it all around my face just to make it look like I tried a little bit harder than I did. And then the last and final thing I'm gonna do is go in with some highlight because a glam skull needs a ton of highlight. You feel me? So I know I went a little off grid a little bit with the highlight, the rhinestones around the mouth and adding this little piece right here above my brow. It just lacked a little bit of symmetry if you ask me, but I really love the way that this turned out. I highly recommend going in with some color like underneath here, maybe even doing like a neck piece, but I really wanted to keep things very simple for this look. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And now let's move on to look number three. We are gonna do a dead doll for look number three. I'm gonna start off with my brows and I'm gonna use a black eyeliner. I'm gonna use the e.l.f. Cosmetics No Budge Re Retractable Liner because I do want my brows to be super dark, super black. This is gonna be a dead grungy glam. So let's go to town and let's, let's fill in the brows. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go in with some concealer to really just clean everything up. And the reason I didn't do that at first is because <sighs> cleaning up black with concealer can be a mess. Like literally just think about it. So I wanted to remove as much of that black as possible. So now I'm gonna take a small brush and just kind of clean everything up. Then with whatever you have left on your lid, you can actually just use that to prime. What I'm doing now is I'm taking a little bit of face powder and I'm just running it over top of that concealer. If I don't, then whatever black shadow I put on top will probably get a little patchy. So I just want to take some safety measures here. Then I'm gonna go in with a soft brown. The palette I'm gonna be using is the new Classics palette by e.l.f. Cosmetics. This is one of my favorites. I'm gonna take the shade here called the Truffle and I'm just going to blow this out in my crease. Now, we're really creating a very messy, smoky eye. I don't know if I have it in me to do a very messy smoky eye so we'll see where things take me i'm just going to start off with a soft brown even though all you really have to do is just throw black shadow all over your lid i'm going to go in with a shade called downtown it's a really pretty like sparkly black and i'm going to pack this all over the lid with a sigma brush i love that it has specks of glitter in it it is really pretty and again this is not meant to be perfect just go in tap on the color and create the most messiest smoky eye you possibly can. Now that I have that black all over, I'm gonna take the same brush I used for the brown and I'm just gonna start blowing it out. Again, it is meant to be messy, so you really don't have to go in and blend all that much, but I wouldn't be me if I wasn't trying to make it perfect. I went ahead and cleaned up that fallout. I'm now gonna go in with a little bit of primer. I'm gonna use the Hard Candy Hydrating Primer to prime. And then I'm also going to go in with foundation. The Hard Foundation I'm going to be using is a foundation I've literally used in every single look so far. It is this foundation by Alme. It's one of my personal favorites. This is the Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation in the shade Natural Sun Beige. I like that it's hypoallergenic and it's oil-free and fragrance-free as well. So I'm just gonna put this all over. I'm 
sure you guys know how to put on foundation. So I'm just gonna roll through it and then we'll finish off the eyes, I guess. I'm also gonna go in with a little bit of my e.l.f. Cosmetics bronzer just to add some definition to the face. This is in the shade Forever Sun Kiss. Now, I'm gonna go a little crazy with this. I really want to over-exaggerate the definition. So I'm just gonna take this on my forehead and also right here. Even more so, I'm going to exaggerate the definition on my nose. So I'm gonna take this brush right here by Real Techniques. It is technically a setting or a highlighting brush. And I'm just gonna run it right alongside my nose. I really want this to be, again, very, very exaggerated. Now I'm gonna start going in and really just drawing this black underneath the eyes and just dragging it down. But I'm gonna start off with brown first, just so that way I know exactly where I wanna place the black. I'm just gonna, again, apply it in a very like messy manner. And I'm doing it with a brown first, just so that way I can go in with a black like right after and I know exactly where I want to put it. My eyes like watering like crazy from filming all of these looks. Like my eyes definitely, definitely hate me. <laughs> so now I'm going to drag the black underneath my eyes. I'm going to take the shade called Downtown on just a flat brush. And I'm just going to drag it underneath my eye. And I really want to press it. All right, so before I continue on, I wanna go back into the No Budge Retractable Liner by e.l.f. and I'm gonna just line my waterline just to kind of blacken everything out. So I definitely wanna start adding some texture to this look. So I picked these up from the e.l.f. Cosmetics website. This is their brand new All That Glitters Liquid Eyeshadow Vault. And it comes with a limited edition shade, this one right here called Cranberry Punch. I do wanna to try to incorporate that into the look, but the first shade I'm gonna take is this really, really fun kind of silver color. And I'm gonna pop it right here in the very inner corner. This one here is called Disco Queen. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of the shade right here. It's called Black Magic. It is a black base liquid eyeshadow with silver reflex. And I'm gonna take it onto a brush and then just really just start going in and just making this look very, very crazy, very messy. It is not meant to be perfect whatsoever. So that is why I'm just going in and just kind of zhuzhing up this area here. I also wanna throw in a little bit of the limited edition shade in Cranberry Punch because why not? I'm gonna take it on a fluffy brush and I'm just going to stipple it like right above my eye to give it a little bit more like color and stuff. Look how pretty that is. Wow, that's gonna be the perfect like holiday shade. And my eyes are watering only because I have filmed so many looks today, so don't mind that. I'm also gonna go in with some black liquid liner, which is also by Elf Cosmetics. And I'm just gonna create some crazy looking lines here. Using that same brush I use to contour my nose, I'm just gonna take a little bit of black shadow and then I'm just gonna put it right in here, just like that. with a little bit of mascara from Essence. I'm gonna use this wand again to create texture. I'm just gonna kind of roll it like right up in here, just like that. Look like this doll went through some things. I'm also gonna go in with some highlight right here on the bridge of my nose. And I'm also gonna take some right in the center of the forehead. This is actually the Spiced Apple Face Duo by e.l.f. Cosmetics. They did just launch face duos and they are so good. I'm gonna really focus a lot of it right here in the center of my forehead. Just because we're a doll, we wanna look shiny and glossy. Let's take a break from that and start working on the mouth. I do wanna create more of an exaggerated mouth shape for this look. So I'm gonna take the retractable um, eyeliner by e.l.f. and I'm gonna start just drawing out a mouth. Now 
Now, because it's gonna be super difficult for me to fill in my entire mouth with an actual eyeliner, I'm gonna switch over to this by e.l.f. This is the Putty Eye Primer in black, and I'm just gonna go in and really just fill in my entire mouth. So now that I have the general shape down, I'm just gonna take a brush and then just start smudging and just kind of like feathering it out just so that way it doesn't look so perfect. It's a little bit more messy. I'm now gonna go in with Downtown from the new Classics palette and I'm just gonna set everything down and in place. Now I'm gonna go back into the Black Magic Liquid Eyeshadow, and then I'm just gonna add a little bit to my mouth and rim. So like here, just to give it some shine. Also gonna just messily drag it down. Now for my blush, I definitely wanna do something a little bit more out there. So I'm gonna take a red lipstick here. This is also by e.l.f. This is in the shade Cherry. I'm going to put it on my hand and then I'm gonna pick it up with a brush and then just apply it to my cheeks. This look definitely calls for false lashes. So I'm just gonna pop them on really quick. I'm gonna use the Foam Ink Lashes in the style Troublemaker by e.l.f. Cosmetics. So I am gonna use a lacquer lip gloss by e.l.f. Cosmetics just to add a little bit more shine to this look. I'm gonna stick this all over the black lip because it definitely just calls for something a little bit more just like wet and just nasty. Oh yeah. And I'm also gonna stick some of this right up here as well. So as you can see, I did pop on some contacts and this right here is the final and completed look. I feel like the eyes really just bring it home. It brings the entire look together. Now, if I'm being invited to any Halloween party this year, this is probably what I'm going as because it literally is the perfect last minute Halloween makeup idea. All you need is a lip gloss, black liner, black shadow, a lipstick and foundation and you are good to go. Again, contacts as well if you wanna bring it home just like this, but that's just like go to the hair store, pick up some contacts and you're good, you know? So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys want to see more videos just like this, do me a solid, give this video a big old thumbs up. Also, if you are interested in any of the products I use within today's video, I'll have them all listed down below in the description. I love you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And until next time, I'll be sure to catch you guys all on the next one. Deuces.